Hi everyone. Okay, so this video is probably only going to be relevant for a few days because if you're watching this on July 1st, 2024 or later, it's going to be too late to do whatever I'm showing you, probably. I'm, we'll see what happens. But definitely if you're watching this before July 2024, then you can still do this. If you've had your website for years um, and you've had Google Analytics installed for years, what's going to happen on July 24? Uh, July 1st, is that Google Analytics will be officially switching over to a new system and they're not going to back up all the old data for you, which is, uh, I don't know why they, they wouldn't, but um, so they're making it kind of manual for users who care about the old data to back it up. Now, to be honest, I think probably most of you watching this have had, uh, have had websites for years and probably haven't looked at your Google Analytics data for years also, if ever, but still in the future when AI is more advanced, it can help you to grok and analyze all the data. It's just, it's just useful to have it uh, so that it can be used for future analysis. That's my view. So let me go ahead and show you how I backed up my old Google Analytics data um, easily. Uh, it just takes some time. So anyway, first thing to do is to go to your Google Analytics. I will put all these links below this video, okay? Go to your Google Analytics and then click on the accounts area on the top left-ish area where, you know, where it says accounts. Click on it and see if you have a, uh, any Google Analytics that says UA. For example, I have GK New here. That's the analytics account. GK New is what I have. GK Old uh, isn't relevant, so I'm not going to worry about that. GK New. And then look under GK New, I have UA here, UA here. This one is not UA. This one is, I've already switched over to the new system as of a couple, whenever they allowed it. I already switched over. But I still had old data before I switched over for years that I wanted to back up. Um, basically for the georgecow.com, I have this UA. UA stands for Universal Analytics. That's what's going away in favor of what's called GA4, Google Analytics 4. Anyway, so UA, the ones that say UA is, uh, is what we want to back up. And click on the UA one. And then you have view. Now, uh, if you are sophisticated and created multiple views, then you may have to back them all up, but uh, maybe it only you only have one that needs to be backed up. So anyway, after you click UA, click on the one that uh, is the correct view, the one that is probably correct, or you may have to back them all up and do this one at a time. So I'm going to click on this one here. Okay. All right. So you can see there's no data because... Um, I already switched over a couple years now. In this last seven day, there's no data. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So what we need to do now, let me move myself over here, is click on the admin on the bottom left. Click admin on the bottom left. And this now allows me, if I click view settings, okay, view settings here. It still says UA, whatever, right? And then view settings. Now I can copy, click, double click this number because I'm going to need that number. Okay, I'm going to keep this tab open and show you what to do next. So once you get to the view ID number that you can copy, go over to this page. This is the official support document from Google. I will put this link below where they give us the links for uh, how to copy the, co copy the data over. So the first thing you need to do is add the Google Analytics spreadsheet add-on. So uh, again, I'll, I'll, give the, I'll give the link to this article below. I want you to click on the official links, right? So go to the official article, scroll down until you find the Google Analytics spreadsheet add-on. Be sure you're installing the official add-on. I'm sure there's scams out there. So click on the, this one and then click on, I've already installed it, that's why it says uninstall. But if you haven't yet installed it, it will say install. And when you click on install, it'll have you log in to your Google Analytics account, or I'm sorry, your Google spreadsheet, uh, Google Drive account, and probably your Google Analytics account. You have to log into your Google account. And then it'll, it'll have a message that says, do you want Google Analytics extension to have access to all of your spreadsheets, to be able to delete and add spreadsheets? So it sounds really scary, but the reason why they have all these permissions they require is because of how the Google ecosystem works. So I think it's safe because it's directly from Google. So I installed it and I'm using it. Okay. And then the second thing you need to do is do you need to open this link several times, for one for each year. 
that you're going to be backing up. So I'm just going to, I'm on a Mac, so I'm holding down the command key on my keyboard before I click. Hold down command key on your keyboard and then click. If you're on Windows, it's probably control key and then click. But notice if I hold down command and click, it'll open up. See, it's opening these up multiple times. And I just want, let's say I'm opening up 10 times, okay, because I have 10 years of data to back up. Open it however many years you think you have data to back up that you've had Google Analytics installed on your website. Open them up. It's free. <laughs> There's no cost to opening this up, so open it as many times as you want to. And then once you've opened them up, okay, um, I'm going to close this one because I've already installed it. Uh, once you've opened it up, click on Make a Copy. Okay, and now it's going to make a private copy in your Google Drive. You will be able to find it again in your Google Drive uh, later. I, I will show you how to organize it. But anyway, so now um, I've made a copy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, I'm going to I'm going to do it for, um, for for this year. Let's say I'm OK. So 2024 Google uh, Analytics UA backup data, backup data. Okay, so I'm just going to name it like that. And then the next thing I got to do is to change the this um yeah, I got to change I got to change a couple things. This yellow line and I got to change the start date and end date. Okay, so um to get to the to change the view ID number, you go to remember I showed you earlier, you need to go here and get the view ID. Double click on the view ID, copy it by pressing command C or control C on the Windows, command C on the Mac. Go back to the spreadsheet and then Double click here, okay, double click here, cursor is blinking now, get rid of it, and then paste in the number command V on the Mac, control V on the Windows, okay, press enter. Okay, now I got it, now uh, I want to show you one more thing here. Well, I'm just going to copy this over, so command C for copy, okay, and then, well, I'm just going to, the easiest way is to click and drag this little uh, blue circle, click and drag it all the way to the right. Just going to keep going all the way to the right until I get to the end of it. Okay, adds revenue report and then let go. Okay, now I've basically copied it all over. And then I need to change the start and end date. So I'm doing just 2024 for now. So I'm going to do uh, double click on this and I'm going to just change this to um, change the cursor here to 2024, January 1st, press enter all the way to yesterday. Okay, um, I guess maybe I could put today, but I'm just keeping it. I'm changing as little as possible so that the report can um, can be whatever they had programmed the report to do. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to just copy this, copy copy this date, okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and select. I'm going to go on go to here, press down the shift key on my keyboard, and then shift key on my keyboard and press the right arrow. So I'm selecting a bunch of these. So I'm changing a bunch of these dates here. Now, um, now here's the tricky part is that um, uh, there's some that says 30 days ago because they're just monthly. I'm not going to back up the monthly stuff. Okay, I'm not going to back them up because it's just I can't imagine creating reports for every single month going back 10 years. I just don't care that much about the data, the old data. So I'm just going to select the, the, the ones I can. I'm going to press paste. And now it's all 2024 until yesterday. Okay, that's fine. That's good enough. Good enough. All right. So now what I do is I click on extensions. I click Google Analytics and I click run reports. Okay. And it says working here and it's going to be report status and it's going to just be doing this thing for a couple minutes. Notice that they're generating tabs as we go. Pretty amazing. Um, it's just doing all this work and this is 12, 12 reports completed successfully. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to the next one that I made, made a copy. And I'm going to show you one more time. Now, this time is for 2023. I think it's good for you to see two years of how I do this. Make a copy. All right. And now that I have 2024 done, it's going to be easier. I'm going to click on the title, triple click, click three times, copy it, Command C, and then go to go here. Click on the title, triple click, delete it, paste in 2024, except now I'm going to change it to 2023. Enter, and now uh, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna go all the way to the leftmost tab, scroll all the way to the left to the report configuration. Okay, you might have to watch this more slowly again. And because I already I already found the view ID, then it's easy. I'm gonna I'm gonna select this. 
And basically, here's the simple thing I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the, the number three on the left-hand side. Okay, I'm going to press the shift key on my keyboard to hold down the shift key. Press down arrow two times. I'm going to copy it, command C on the keyboard. Okay, go to the 2023 one and I'm going to click on view ID here. I'm going to click on view ID here uh, or click three, it doesn't matter. Um, three or view ID and I'm going to paste. So command V on my keyboard. And notice that this has now pasted both my ID number, correct ID number, and the and the date number correctly. Okay. Um, however, I'm gonna I need to change this. Remember, it's just 2023, right? So double click here, change this to 202301. Copy this. Oh no, I'm gonna change one more thing. I'm gonna change instead of to yesterday. I'm gonna I'm only gonna back up one year's data at a time because one year's data is already a lot of data. It might break the spreadsheet. That's why I'm doing it one year at a time. So instead of twenty uh, instead of yesterday, I'm gonna I'm going to put 2023 12-31. So just backing up for for an entire year's data. I'm gonna copy this. Command C on my keyboard. Hold go here. Hold down the shift key. Press the right arrow to change all the ones that say yesterday to, um, uh, yeah. I'm gonna ignore the ones that say monthly, 30 days ago, I know I'm not gonna change, changes for every single month of 2020. I just, I'm gonna ignore all that. I'm gonna just change it for what I can. All the way here, paste it, Command V or Control V on the key on the windows, paste it. Okay, now this is all, whoops, oh, sorry. I forgot to change the top row here. So I really could have changed these two and then just selected, shift down, selected these two and paste, paste, uh, paste all of these. Anyway, the, the idea is just to change the data. So we're, we're only uh, backing up um, the um, 2023 for the entire year. Got it? Okay, we've done that. Same thing now, click extension, Google Analytics, run reports. Let it work. And while it's working, I want to show you the 2024. How do you know that the backup worked, right? Well, not only are there a bunch of tabs. When you click on, for example, daily page performance. Oops, daily, daily traffic, daily. Okay. So it says, this is actually a good example. It says zero because I had already switched over to the new system by the beginning of 2024. That's why it's giving me zero data. But let's take a look at 2023 here. Okay. As it finishes doing it, um, Okay, I'm gonna go to, go to a daily page performance and look, 17,000 results. So it's getting a bunch of data from, um, I'm gonna scroll down, from a bunch of my web pages, right? For example, um, I have a web page, I have a, I have a course, I have a, I have a um, blog post called uh, Three Stages of Content, whatever, Three Stages of Content. And on, on, on each day, there were got a couple of visitors, you know, and if I keep scrolling down, there's a bunch of other blog posts that each day got a couple of visitors, da, 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 da. Anyway, so as you can see, there is a lot of data. I mean, my goodness, this is like 16,000 rows of data just for one year. That's why I think it's probably a good idea to back up one year at a time if you have a pretty big website like mine. I mean, I don't have a giant website, but I have a lot of blog posts on there. So anyway, uh, that's it. And then, okay, let me show you how I organized it. Okay. So if I go to, um, if I go to Google Drive, Google Drive and click on recent, okay, click on recent. All right. I, um, you can see that uh, all the recent spreadsheets that I created just literally during this tutorial are here. So what I do is I select them by holding down command on my keyboard, holding down the command key or on Windows, it's control. Hold down command, I click it and go to the next one while command is still held down or control on the Windows, click it. Click, is, click all of them, okay, so whatever. I'm, I'm, these, are, these are not applicable NA because I realized that by 2013, I had not been on Google Analytics yet in 2013, whatever, it doesn't matter. So click the ones that are that you've already backed up and then click on the three dots here at the top and click on organize and then click on move, organize, move. And then uh, what I did was I clicked on, um, I clicked on all locations, I think, and I clicked on my drive. Okay, I'm gonna click on the right arrow, view my drive. And then I, I clicked on this uh, new folder icon on the bottom left and I typed in Google Analytics, Analytics UA Backup 
until 2024. And I clicked on create. And then it will have selected that one. And then I click on move. Voila. So now in the future, you go to your Google Drive. You go down to Google Analytics Backup until 2024. And there are whatever. <laughs> Those are the ones for demo that I just selected for you. They're all here. And like I said, you know, I know you a lot of people watching this probably don't analyze their Google Analytics regularly. But at least you have this data that in the future, you'll have AI assistant that will be able to like understand all this for you and, and, and make it useful for you. So I hope this is helpful. Um, I wish someone showed this to me. And so that's why I figured it out and showed it to you. And if you have any other tips for anyone else watching this for the next couple of days, please go ahead and comment below. Thanks a lot.